Welcome back to Greyhack. Today we are looking at Wi-Fi hacking. And we will pretty much just pick up where we left off. So we go to the manual and we check out the first steps. And here we will see the commands. One, two, three, four. That are used to hack Wi-Fi's. We will also be using a terminal and uh, that's pretty much it so up here we can see the wi-fi's that are within range and the, their name and their strength um, the first command we will be using is the airmon command and if we just type airmon we will see that the monitor mode is false and we need to enable this so if we do this you can also find information on these commands and how to do this down here in network commands so like here we have Airmon, IWList, Airplay, Aircrack. And so for example here we have example Airmon Start Etho, which is the uh, way to start uh, Airmon or the monitor mode. So we uh, do Airmon Start Etho and uh, now as you can see it's set to true. So that's pretty much it for that command. Next up we have the IWList command and you can actually use them in this order if you want to. So let's go IWList. And again, if we, uh, well, maybe I haven't said that before, but if you just type the command, usually it will tell you the usage. So how to use the command. And for example here, and the IWList command will be used with the net device. So you type IWList Etho. And that will show all the available Wi Fi networks within range and also their signal strength. And these are the same Wi Fi's that you can see up here. Uh, when you hack Wi-Fi's, it's good to consider the signal strength. And uh, there are two reasons for that. If you uh, pick a uh, Wi-Fi with a high signal strength, it will need packages you you will need to collect less packages with airplay which is what we're going to do next and the collecting of the packages will also be faster so the strongest signal we have here is probably this one right and we can just select all of it and press Control shift c to copy and then we can use the airplay command here play here play right like that and uh, if we just type airplay we can see how it's used again so it's uh, used by uh, putting b and then the b is SID, so i'll just paste it all in with control shift V and then I'll just remove the signal strength and put an E here and then the ESSID and that's it now we are collecting packages so if we uh, had uh, found a if, if there were a stronger signal uh, on any of these Wi-Fi's, the uh, 
uh, package collection would have been faster. We would also need less packages, as I mentioned earlier. So uh, for this 59% Wi-Fi, I would say maybe collect like eight or nine thousand to be sure. I think it's less. Uh, if you have maybe 80% or more, you might only need like 4,000. So it would have been done by now. And if you have some l lower percentages, uh, there might you might need like 50,000 X or something. So it can get rather insane at the bottom, like this 4%, for example, that will probably take a very long time to both collect the X and uh, get enough of them. So we're at almost at 7,000 in the manual. You can see that it's recommending at least 7,000 packages. And I think that's maybe around 50 or 60%. So now we are at 8,000. I think 8,000 is enough. And to stop the collection, we use the control C. And that stops the process. Something else that happened is if we look here in the file explorer, we can see that there is now a file.cap file. This file uh, was created by the AirPlay. So when the AirPlay collected packages from the Wi-Fi, it uh, and we and we killed it, it uh, stored uh, the information in this file right here. In order to extract a password from this file, we need to use the lost command. Let's see over here again, is the air crack command. So if we type air crack, just to check it out, we see that its use, its usage is air crack and then file cap. And we have the file cap right here. So we just use air crack and then file Tab. You can use tab to autocomplete your uh, uh, commands and uh, file names and folder paths and all kinds of stuff. So that's useful to uh, a very useful feature indeed. Okay, air crack file cap. And we had enough packages, so we got the password. And the password is Billy Bob. So we'll go in here and we'll find the Wi Fi that we cracked. And we will put in the password. And we now have access to the internet. So something maybe that I might mention is that when you put a password in like this you can see that it's now stored so if we were to hack another wi-fi and uh, uh, log into that or connect to that we would uh, save that password as well and also keep this one so all the passwords are saved we don't need to save these passwords anywhere else the game does it for us. So that's kind of useful. Um, I think this will be enough for now. Now that we finally have internet access, we will be able to make bank accounts, mail accounts, and so on. So I think this is a good place to end this video and we'll pick up uh, in the next video with some more interesting stuff i hope you enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time